Good morning. So it's Monday and in this video I want to show you kind of what a work week in my life looks like. So I work for the National Park Service as a conservation intern. What that means is the center that I work at receives cultural heritage items from a variety of national parks and takes care of those cultural heritage items, which can be historical garments, the Civil War weaponry, the pottery shards, takes those items, takes care of them, cleans them up, makes sure that they're like stable and clean enough to be put back on display in the parks from which they originated. So at that center, I'm primarily like a textile conservation intern. So I focus on like clothes, curtains, um, flags, banners, but in my internship now, which has been extended from three months to a year, I'm now able to go into a variety of other labs. So you'll see me this week in the paper lab, the objects lab, the metal lab, uh, and of course the textile lab, that's kind of my area of focus. Yeah, I'm gonna show you kind of a couple clips of what I do on the daily at work and then a little bit of like what I end up doing in the evenings and I hope you enjoy it. I mean if you have any questions about conservation or my job let me know, drop it in the comments. But I guess let's get started. <laughs> Happy Monday! So today I am revamping the inner support lining for one of our historical garments and that basically just requires cutting and hemming a piece of fabric that's been tested and confirmed to not be harmful to an object in a museum environment. Um, and this sewing machine was honestly a little bit frustrating. It's quite different from the one that I have at home and it took me an embarrassingly long amount of time to remember how to get it up and running. But we got there eventually. So part of taking care of a historical object is making sure that everything around it is safe and will help it maintain stability while it's either on display or in storage. And that's what this inner padded lining thing is doing for this historical garment. So in the textile lab, I will usually have two or three projects going at once, and this month I've been working on treating a set of historical garments as well as modifying their storage supports and display mounts. So in addition to this thing I'm working on right now, I'm also in the process of customizing a mannequin, which you'll see later on. We also usually envelope historical clothes in a large piece of muslin before they get sent back to their parks, so I'm cutting up a piece for one of my coworkers' current projects. So on Mondays, I usually head to the next town over to play spike ball with some of my friends. And one of the first things I did when I got to West Virginia at the beginning of the summer was to find a spike ball group. And it's been really nice to play a couple times a week with them. Um, it's definitely been harder in the winter as it's gotten a lot colder and a lot darker earlier, but thankfully we have an indoor location now. So on Tuesday, I am now in the paper lab and I'm dealing at the moment with a lot of single sheets of paper and they require a lot of delicate attention and mending. So paper mending and conservation consists of taking Japanese paper, which is a super thin but sturdy, almost like tissue and adhering it to a paper tear via an adhesive. And so right now the adhesive I'm using is methyl cellulose. This adhesive slash paper combination is so great because it's water soluble, it's pH neutral, and it's also pretty tough and sturdy, helping to ensure that the tears that I'm working on will be less likely to grow in the future when people are handling these papers for whatever reason, whether that be research or digitization. So when I got home, I put on Harry Potter, I pulled out my watercolors, um, and I painted a little bit. 
And so as I'm prepping for art conservation grad school, I'm trying to plan out what pieces of art I want to make and put in the art portfolio portion of my grad school application. And I recently got this really fun ring from Anthropology, and I really like the amount of detail you can get in the reflection on the band. So I decided to do a couple of watercolor and gouache studies of it, and maybe make a larger version of one of the studies for my portfolio. Grad schools really want to see a strong understanding of color in your art, as well as a strong attention to detail, so I thought it was perfect subject matter. Later in the evening, I sat down with my iPad and worked on some digital art. And grad schools like aren't really wanting to see any digital art in your portfolio. There's just too many shortcuts in the digital space for people to get a really clear understanding of your actual art skills, but it's been really nice to be able to crank out a lot of sketches and personal pieces without having to use up any art supplies. So today I'm back in the textile lab, now working on a suit form, a mannequin, for one of our historical garments that will be potentially going back on display soon. And we purchased this mannequin back in like June, but I've just now finished treating the clothes themselves. And so I'm, I'm customizing the mannequin now by shaving it down in certain places with a knife and then building it up in other places with batting. It was pretty satisfying, but I definitely chose the wrong day to wear all black. I looked like a cat had shed all over me by the end of the day. After work, I stopped by the local Civil War battlefield and took a little walk. Saw a goat. And then drove around downtown Harper's Ferry a little bit to see the Christmas lights. After I got home, um, I pulled out another one of my projects, a quilted jacket. So I recently made a jacket out of a quilt I bought from Goodwill and a couple of my friends saw it on Instagram and asked me to make one for them. And I've never made an article of clothing before this month. So it's been pretty fun and quirky trying to figure out how that works. Um, this one that I'm working on has been giving me a little bit of trouble and it's not quite the size that my friend is, is wanting. So I need to work on it a bit more. And I'm hoping that this project will help me beef up my sewing skills partially so that I can include a textile piece in my grad application portfolio, but also because I would just really like to make my own clothes. So Thursday, I'm in the objects lab where things like typewriters and pottery and pieces of luggage come to be taken care of. Um, I'm with my coworker who's in her third year at the Buffalo State program, and today we're using stiff brushes, toothbrushes, and an eraser to clean this trunk while listening to a medical malpractice murder podcast. Like in this area, and I'm pressing pretty hard. Okay. Do you see that? But like, cool. not making like drastic movement, but just kind of like little ones. Okay. And do you see how that's like breaking it up? Okay. Like, yes, this is kind of like an embedded thing, but you can really like okay. get in there. It's honestly a really satisfying process. Uh, once you take the eraser to it, it the, all the dirt just like falls away really easily. After work, I drove about a half hour to a nearby town to go Christmas shopping with my coworkers who works in the collections division at my, my work, at my internship. Here are the batteries. Mm -hmm. And then when I got back home, I frantically tried on my jacket again to try and figure out what to do to fix it, but no such luck. So today I started out in the metals lab cleaning and coating a set of shirt studs that were covered in cadmium corrosion. So cadmium is a carcinogen, so I had to make sure I was fully strapped into some PPE to reduce contact with the corrosion. And then I started cleaning the studs. I didn't get any videos of this, but before this, I was in the science lab in our building and I made a one-to-one -one solution of isopropanol and Deanna's water to clean the studs. And then I also coated the studs to prevent further corrosion, 
with a coating of 5% B48N in acetone. In my experience at my internship, I've used the most chemistry when working with metals so far, which has been really fun. So this is actually a clip from a different Friday, but I did want to show you a bit more of the process of making the mannequin. Um, I'm continuing to build up the suit form, now gluing on an extra chunk of foam for the neck, and then I had to trim that down to make sure it transitioned smoothly into the body of the chest. And then after putting on the neck, I decided I was done trimming down the foam. So I put a tight fitting stockinette sock over top and started stitching that down to make sure it was form fitting. After that, I decided that we needed some more shoulders for this guy. So I stuck on some shoulder pads made out of batting that I had beveled and trimmed to smooth down. Again, not a great day to wear black pants, but here we are. And since it was Friday night, I headed to the movies to watch Spider-Man, which was literally the greatest thing ever. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'm definitely going to watch it again when I get home for Christmas break. So that's my week. Um, I'm gonna spare you my weekend um, because I'm <laughs> now heading home on a 12 hour drive to Florida. So won't include that, but I hope you enjoyed seeing um, what the work week in the life of an art conservation intern looks like. And if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Thanks for watching and stay Stay tuned for another video. I don't really know what do people say on these things. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.